गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट हिमाटो वॉइसेस एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच ब्लड सेल्स आर फॉर्म इज कॉल्ड हिमाटो वॉइसेस लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द साइट ऑफ हिमाटो वॉइसेस In the early stage, that is, in fourteen to nineteen days of gestation period, hematopoiesis takes place in embryonic yolk sac. In the second trimester, it takes place in liver. From seven months of gestation to adulthood, hematopoiesis takes place in bone marrow. In the first four years of life, almost all marrow cavities contain hematopoietic tissue, termed red marrow. As we age, the quantity of hematopoietic tissue decreases and is replaced by fat that is yellow marrow. In adults, red marrow is limited to the axial skeleton and long bones that is in femur and humerus. Let's talk about differentiation of hematopoietic stem cells. Hematopoietic stem cells or HSCs are differentiated into lymphoid progenitor cells and myeloid progenitor cells hematopoietic stem cell is differentiated into lymphoid progenitor cell and myeloid progenitor cell lymphoid progenitor cells are differentiated into lymphoblasts which further differentiated into B cell, T cell, and NK cell. Lymphoid progenitor cells also give rise to dendritic cells (DC). Myeloid progenitor cells are differentiated into myeloblast, pro-monocyte, mast cell precursor, erythroblast, and megakaryocyte. Myeloblasts are differentiated into neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil. Promonocytes are differentiated into monocyte. Mast cell precursors are differentiated into mast cell. Erythroblasts are differentiated into erythrocytes. Megakaryocytes are differentiated into platelets. Hematopoiesis is a highly regulated process. This regulation of hematopoiesis causes anemia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia. Hyperactivation of hematopoiesis causes hematological malignancies. Regulation of hematopoiesis. The regulation of hematopoiesis is dependent on certain growth factors which drive the proliferation and differentiation of progenitor cells. Let's see some examples of growth factors. Erythropoietin it controls the synthesis of erythrocytes. GM CSF GCSF CSF is the colony stimulating factor interleukin 3 they they control the synthesis of neutrophils lymphokines controls the synthesis of lymphocytes thrombopoietin controls the synthesis of platelets this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video